Salmon are nature's ultimate travelers. Born in fresh water, they venture to the open ocean before returning to where it all began. But have you ever wondered what really goes on behind the scenes? From the wild to sustainable farms? And finally, high-tech processing plants? Join us as we follow the incredible life cycle of salmon, explore their dramatic transformations, and uncover the modern techniques used to raise and process them. Did you know salmon live in two completely different worlds during their life? They hatch in freshwater rivers, then journey to the salty ocean to grow and mature. As they return to freshwater to spawn, salmon change color, shifting from silvery blue to red, bronze, or dark olive. Males may even develop humps and hooked jaws for mating. Why do they endure such a tough journey? Because clean, oxygen-rich rivers with gravel beds offer the best protection for their eggs and fewer predators. After spawning, most Pacific salmon die, but their sacrifice nourishes the ecosystem. Globally, over 2.5 million tons of salmon are caught each year. Some boats even clean and freeze them at sea. But with wild stocks under pressure, more than half of all salmon now comes from aquaculture. That's why sustainable farming is crucial. Salmon farming begins with careful, controlled breeding. Mature females are selected, and their eggs, up to 10,000 per fish, are gently collected. In labs, eggs and sperm are mixed in clean, stable conditions boosting survival rates far beyond what nature can provide. These fertilized eggs are incubated in oxygen-rich water. Once hatched, tiny salmon called alevins feed on their yolk sacs. They soon grow into fry, then are moved to freshwater tanks. Here, they're monitored and nurtured until strong enough for larger enclosures. After several months, they become smolts, ready for the ocean. In farms, smolts are gently transported in oxygenated tanks to sea pens, where they grow in closely monitored environments. It takes about 1.5 to 2 years at sea for salmon to reach full size, completing their journey from river to ocean. Once harvested, the salmon are quickly chilled and shipped to processing plants. At the facility, they're sorted by size and quality to match different product types, from whole fish to fillets. First comes gutting, where machines or skilled workers remove internal organs.
Heads are also removed. Some are discarded, others turned into fish meal or oil. Next is filleting. Machines slice precisely along the backbone, minimizing waste. Workers may also trim to ensure premium quality. After filleting, the fish undergoes trimming and an additional washing process. Excess fat, skin, and any remaining unwanted parts are carefully removed, ensuring the fillets are uniform in size and appearance. A specialized machine extracts the bones, and workers manually inspect each fillet to ensure none are left behind. The fillets then pass through an advanced scanning system that detects imperfections, bones, or inconsistencies in quality. Depending on the product specifications, the fillets may be cut into smaller portions, such as steaks or prepackaged cuts for retail. Finally, the salmon is sealed, boxed, and frozen to lock in freshness, then shipped across the globe to consumers. Salmon isn't just delicious. It's one of the most nutritious foods on Earth. From freshwater rivers to ocean farms, from wild streams to your plate, salmon's journey is extraordinary. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us for more incredible stories from nature and food.